Welcome bros, Ferdy here and today I'm reviewing the M5K the SMG that came out along with Close Quarters DLC. So let's get down to business. The M5K suits with 100 RPMs. I'm gonna directly compare it with the P90 where it actually suits the same with 900 RPMs too. The biggest difference is that the P90 starts dropping damage from 12 meters and beyond where the M5K starts dropping damage from 8 meters and beyond. That means that the P90 can kill the target up to 12 meters with 5 bullets where M5K needs 6. That's a big difference over there in my book guys. And if you check out the long range it's up to 40 meters there's a slightly difference over there. The P90 and the MP7 need 9 bullets to kill the target at long range. I really don't think that you're gonna be killing someone in such a long range up to 45 meters but the M5K does 12.5 meters which means it will kill with one bullet less. It will kill with 8 bullets where the P90 and MP7 will kill with 9 bullets. That's not a big difference in my book there because these weapons aren't used in such ranges. Also the characteristics of the F5K are more similar to the ASVAL as they have the same RPM too. But the Ace Val has more damage in long range. It has 18.4 damage, where the M5K in long range has 12.5, which is a huge difference. The side to side recoil is more similar to the Ace Val. The P90 and the AP7 have almost double the side to side recoil, but they have way lower vertical recoil than the MP5. The M5K kicks like a mule because it has the highest vertical recoil of all the MCG, SMGs up to 0.5. Second is the Ace Val with 0.4, and the MP7 and P90 are way down there to 0.1, which is obviously almost to no vertical recoil. M5K I think it's designed mostly for long, for medium to long ranges, but I really don't think it actually does the job as the Ace Val does. One reason is that the first bullet recoil is way less on the Ace Val than it actually is on the M5K. Ace Val has three times less first bullet recoil than the M5K. So in my book guys, either use the Ace Val or the P90 MP7. M5K doesn't seem to be working as they think they would. In general, DICE is trying its best. M5K in my book is a big failure on the PDW section. So let's recap what we said today. M5K is a high RPM SMG, decent damage in close range, but the damage really drops after 8 meters, which is a big disadvantage. It has a slight disadvantage in long ranges, where you can actually kill with one bullet less compared to the other SMGs. It's supposed to be a competitor of the AS Val, but the AS Val clearly wins as it has way less first bullet recoil and less vertical recoil. Also it has less horizontal recoil. So the stats of the M5K are worse than the AS Val in long range and worse than the MP7 and P90's stats in close range. So this weapon actually does nothing good in any ranges. So that was it for this day's review, do not use the M5K, it does nothing better than the other SMGs in any kind of ranges, so in my book that is a failure. Thank you for watching guys, have a nice day, I hope you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're interested in my comment, have a nice day, I'm out. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit tgn.tv.